Hello guys, it's me again, and I'm going to do a hopefully really short uh, video just to show you how to navigate uh, mastering. So just give me a few minutes to show you uh, a little bit about mastering and where some things are and so that you can use it as the tool that it's intended to be used for. So all you do is you click on the mastering website, and the first time you go in you'll need to register. Uh, so there's information on the, on the Start Here page on how to do that. There's a little tutorial on how to do it. But you just click in and you register. Um, once you have registered, you'll sign in. Let me sign in. And you should come to a course that looks something uh, like this. And uh, there's one of those browser issues again. I'm, I'm on a computer that doesn't have Chrome, so I'm having to use Internet Explorer, so it's going to give me some goofy stuff. I hate Internet Explorer. So you're going to come to a page that looks kind of like this. Uh, you're going to go to the course home. There's going to be a calendar, and on the calendar you're going to see some things that are uh, in blue, and these are your assignments. And so you can just kind of click through the calendar, and uh, let me click in. That's not the course I want to be in. That's another course. We click into a course that has some assignments in it. Hang on a second. Here we go. So you'll see these blue uh, tabs. And so these are the things that you've got to do and when they're due. So they're, they're done by unit. So unit one's here, unit two, unit three. And so you can kind of plan ahead on when these things are due. So all you do is click on um, assignments. I like to do it from the calendar. I think it makes more sense. It's a little easier to find. But click on assignments, and um, I hate Internet Explorer. Here's the calendar view. So click on your assignment. It'll open up, and it's going to look a little different because I'm in the instructor view, and I got to put it in student view. So click on it. You'll open up a question. Uh, you can read the question, and then you can answer it. Now, the thing about mastering, it's homework, okay? And it's meant to help keep your grade up. It's not meant to lower your grade. Uh, every one of these questions, you have um, several chances. You can, you can cl uh, click the answer, and if it's wrong, you can go back and get the right answer. You have like three chances to, to get the right answer. So if it's a multiple choice question with four choices, and you've had three chances to get it right, then you should get it right, okay? So um, get your book out. This is not meant to be a test. Uh, you've got plenty of time. It's not timed. You can take as much time as you want to. So watch a video, then go do your mastering and, and, uh, and work on your assignments and with your textbook and try to get the right answer. It's not meant to be, it's not meant to punish you. You're supposed to, supposed to, you're supposed to learn as you're doing it. So don't just go through and just randomly click answers going, ah, I know I'm going to get my credit anyway and click, 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 because you don't learn anything. I have specifically picked out questions that are very similar to my test questions. So if you'll do this and learn what the questions are asking and how to answer them, then you'll do a whole lot better on the exams. So just work through your questions. You'll put in your answer and hit submit and work through all your assignments. There's a lot of homework, okay, a lot of homework. So don't think you need to do this the day before an exam. You, you won't get it all finished, but there's a lot of homework. Um, so that's your assignment. So you've basically got an assignment for each unit. Uh, there is a lecture component and a lab component. So when you uh, go through these assignments, you'll see some are lecture questions, some are pictures or like lab questions, things like that. So make sure you do that. The other thing that people don't usually take advantage of is uh, in mastering, there's something called My Study Area. So I want to make sure that you see this button. I want you to click on that button, and this is where you can get extra help. So if there is anything that you're having trouble with, I guarantee you there's probably some information on this website that will help you. Each chapter has a chapter guide, it has chapter quizzes, it has chapter games, it has practice tests. So if you want to take a chapter test before you take my test, you can take these over and over and over again and see what you do or don't know. All right, so each chapter has all this information. Um, there's quizzes. Uh, if you like to do art labeling, if you like to do um, matching, if you like to do uh, crossword puzzles, multiple choice, true-false, all these things are there. So 
this is really meant to help people with different learning styles. Are you a visual learner? You know, how, what do you need to learn? So it's all there for you. I, I can't tell you what to do and what not to do. You have to kind of figure that out for yourself. So if you like to play games, then take the quizzes. If you like to do crossword puzzles, do the puzzles. But they're all there for you. Um, there's also something called um, uh, PAL. It's called Practice Anatomy Lab. And so when you click on this, this will be really helpful uh, when we get to the bones, especially in the muscles. But you can go to models and just say, let's do the uh, integumentary system. And you're going to see models. These look like the models that we have in lab. And you can scroll over them and have everything will be identified for you. You can take a quiz. You can take a mock practical. So again, plenty of places for you to go and practice. And um, Anatomy is a whole lot like driving or playing baseball or playing tennis. The more you practice, the better you get. And the best way to practice is just to take a lot of tests. Uh, so you want to take all, they're all free. You've paid for it. You've got your code. You've got all this free information. So take advantage of that you have it. There's also some tutorials. There's some videos. Uh, there's some tutor sessions. There's just all kind of cool stuff. So don't forget to go to this, my study area and mastering. Um, a lot of times people just, they don't, it's way into the semester before they start doing that and they, they wish they had done it uh, ahead of time. So just do your assignments, do your homework, and it'll self-grade, and that's really all there is to know about mastering. All right, see you next time.